Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create isometric design slide in PowerPoint which looks something like this. You can see this is a cloud based online classes. So let's see how to create this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes and select a rectangle, a rounded rectangle and I'm going to draw a mobile phone. Adjust the rounded corners and make it no outline. You can duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and you can give a different color for the meantime, I'm just going to use this orange color. Later on, I'm going to put some gradient fill. Align it so that uh, it goes to the corners. And I'm just going to add a oval shape here which depicts the camera so that that part I'm just going to remove so that the it gives a good design first make it center and then go to merge shape and say subtract group it you can press ctrl G or you can right mouse click group Adjust the size and I'm just going to do some gradient fill. You can use any color as you like. Maybe I can use some purple or green or whatever. Select the object and go to 3D format, 3D rotation and select the option there and just rotate it, bring it down. And go to 3D format, depth, you make it something 10 or 12. Maybe 13 could be better or 15. And then you can just change the color of the phone itself, whichever color you like. You can use white as well, but white will mingle with the background. And take one more rectangle and this also you can do a 3D, 3D rotation, sorry. The same thing, use the same and then increase it. And you have to make sure that this is touching the edges of the phone. This is, I'm going to give a shadow effect for this one. so. Go to gradient fill and use some gray colors so that it will give a shadow effect. See which shadow effect that will fit best. We have to and then change the color. this one let's make it white and you can remove the outline and increase the transparency level you can change the angle for this one so that it gives a perfect shadow effect
you can increase the transparency level. I think this looks okay. And here I'm just going to download some images which I have already created in Illustrator like this is students which I'm going to attach this one in your uh, PowerPoint slide. Just you can add three, four, five students, how many students you like, you can add it. I'm just going to add maybe the four students here, online students. And you can just change the image because I've created with different colors. You can do this in PowerPoint as well, but this will consume a lot of time. So just I did this in Illustrator or you can just search on the net and you can get this image as well. But it's more difficult to do in PowerPoint. And I've taken one faculty for this or a trainer you can say. And I'm just going to give the message. I'm creating a cloud first because this is a cloud base so just take a rounded rectangle make it corners and then you can add some oval shape make three ovals and select all go to format and union it so this is the cloud shape is ready and then we can give a 3d effect for this cloud as well again go to the properties you can get to 3d rotation and select the first one and 3D format also you can increase the depth and you can play with the colors and the effects there you can fill some nice colors there if you like Maybe let me just go with some light blue color. Or you can use some dark color. And then create some arrow there. Go to insert, shape and select this connected arrow. And for this arrow as well, just we need to give a 3D effect. I'm just going to change the color of the line and remember the moment you change the color again it will rotation will go so first change the color and then do the rotation but anyway I'm just going to do it again select the second one I'm going to insert one more rectangle which is like a screen which is a big screen so that we can show some information on that one go to 3d format 3d rotation and select the first one and adjust the size you can make it less transparent and you can use some gradient fill as well and give some depth and give some gradient fill here and give any good color combination
and insert any information here in this case i'm just going to insert some uh, charts here go to chart select any chart and just insert the chart so this is the chart uh, which is by default it is there in you can change the numbers if you want or you put your own chart and now you cannot just put the chart you cannot just do some a 3d format on this one so i'm just going to copy and paste as image and then i can do the 3d rotation or 3d format so original one i'm deleting and just go to 3d rotation and give the same first one and bring it here You can increase or reduce the size depending on the requirement. And you can add some more text like online classes or whatever text you like to have. And for this also the same rotation isometric which is under parallel and bring it here select these three objects and group together and i'm just writing something on the cloud maybe cloud based or whatever you like to write Now it's time to do some animation. I'm going to add some simple animations. Go to animation and first select the, the mobile and for this one I'm just going to say fly in from bottom. You can enable the animation pane and then the, the shadow of the mobile. For that I'm just going to use wipe maybe from left. And this should happen maybe with previous. And increase the delay of 25 or 50. And this one you can use some smooth end and smooth start. And then I'm just selecting the people there. Fly in, I'll say from top. And this is after previous. And I'm just going to use some bounce end and smooth start. And you can just copy the animation to the other objects as well. And for cloud you can just give maybe just appear after previous and for arrow you can give the wipe effect which is from top and for this also you can give some wipe effect so this is how it looks like after the animation That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.